Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Vega, South of Kingston, Jamaica. Original African. Seeing this interview is from my fans around the world. Hope you will learn something. Sit back, get your popcorn. Over 20 years in the music industry, what have been your greatest lessons so far? My greatest lessons in the music business today is learning to stay humble. I learn to stay humble and do music that people will enjoy. Music that will last a lifetime. These days you go by the name Subi on social media. Why this name and what does it mean to you? This name was given to me by a brother, Mega D, in Uganda. He saw me one day before my concert and he said, your name is Subi. So I asked him what it means. He said it means hope. He said, you are the black hope. I said, okay. After studying African history, I realized how significant it is for us to hope as black people that one day we will get to know who we really are right across the globe. Over the last couple of years, we have seen some secular stars like you, Lady Saw, who is Marion Hall, and Alain Get Saved. Talk to us about your journey to Christianity and how was this transition? My journey to Christianity was based on how I was indoctrinated. I went into the church to find find out more about Jesus. I really, really wanted to get to know Jesus. So I went into the church because that was all I knew growing up about Jesus and the Bible and all these things. So I really, really wanted to get to know more about Jesus. You have been keeping busy during Corona lockdown. Talk to us about your new tracks, Stay in your lane, Stay in your yard, sorry, and Corona. Stay in your yard is a track dedicated to the people around the world. Just telling people to stay home when you can. If you do not have to leave your house, stay home because this virus is still crazy. You know, no one is sure what is really going on. And of course, we want to cut down the spread of the virus and we want to contain the virus around the world or even eradicate the virus. So we just did this song for people to, you know, feel good about staying home, you know, feel good about staying home. If you can stay home, stay home and enjoy yourself. Corona was written when the, when the virus was in China. It was nowhere else in the world. And I did Corona. And I, I did not even do it for... In a release, I did it as a joke, um, not laughing at the situation in China, but the way I was trying to make fun of the Corona character. And, you know, it, it just happened that the, the virus is crazy around the world and, the, you know, people like the song. So I released it. What would be a caliber of a lifetime for you? A collaboration of a lifetime would be Mr. Vegas and Bruno Mars. That would be my dream collaboration. Which Jamaican artist would you like to battle on Instagram live session? I think a good matchup would be uh, Conscience, Sean Paul, Busy Signal, I think. You know, yeah, the right league. You have recently come out to criticize the media, the justice system, and the church on certain issues of social media. In your opinion, what can these institutions do to make the world a better place? Be truthful. That is it. Be truthful. And put the people first. Put the people before the institutions and put the people before money and material gains. Your song Heads Eye, Hot Walk, Mana Gallis are still hits many years later. Talk to us about making the making of these iconic songs. These songs are songs that I created just for people to have fun, for people to dance, for people to enjoy themselves, for people to, for people to just smile and dance and feel free. So whenever, you know, I, I go into the studio, I'm always trying to do something where, you know, people can, you know, feel, feel some form of euphoria when listening to the music. So these songs are songs that I did 
for this purpose, just to make people feel a, 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 a euphoric, you know, you know, vibe coming from them. How are you spending your time during the pandemic? I am just chilling, still trying to go to the studio, um, and just living, studying, um, studying a lot of books, reading a lot of African history. You know, I, I, I was just reading about my brother Fred, book that, you know, it's called Touch My Blood from my brother, my brother Fred in, in, in South Africa. So I just, I read a lot of books and I study, I try to study a lot of African history. I study Asian Kemetic um, um, information or history. I study a lot of information from Kenya, Uganda, um, the Kikuya people, yeah? Yeah, I study, you know, these people, you know, I'm learning about these people and knowing that these people actually connects with me makes me feel even more determined to learn more about them. Tell us about the influences that Beanie Man and Sean Paul had on your career. Beanie Man and Sean Paul. Sean Paul is a, is a hit maker. He's a hit machine. So it's always good to vibe with Sean Paul. Beanie Man is one of the greatest dancehall performers. Who is the king of dancehall? I am the king of dancehall. Yeah. I am the king of dance art. But there are many kings. What do you have to say to your Kenyan fans? My Kenyan fans, big up on yourself. When I come to Kenya again, going to be pandemonium. See? Big up. Turn up. Loud. Mr. Vegas. Out. Stay safe. Stay in your yard. Stay in your, in your, in your yard. Stay in your, in your bongo cat yard. Don't get sick and dead.